Today we are dialing in the Regalia Coffees Gesha from Panama. I have about 300 grams of this coffee and I want to get about 15 brews out of it. So we're going to do 20 grams per brew at the max, which means really it's like 19 and a half after purging and losing some of the grinds to the grinder who loves to eat up all of our coffee grinds. No one knows where it goes. It just disappears. We're gonna pour 60 grams of water for our bloom. Let that sit for 30 seconds. Give it a little stir to hopefully get all of that water hitting all that coffee. And for our first pour after this, we're going to hit 200 grams of water by about one minute. Wait for about 10 seconds and then pour the rest of your water. In our case, it's gonna be about 320 grams. Should be done with this pour by about two minutes. And there we are after about 10 seconds after that, give it a little spin and let it drain. We're going to wait for it to get down to just a few drops and our brew is finished at about three minutes, 18 seconds. And this is where the fun begins. We're going to weigh out our brew weight and multiply that by our TDS and divide it by our total dry coffee that we use in order to find out our extraction percentage. Now, this coffee is extremely pleasant from every brew, but I know we can get more than 19 and some change. So we're gonna tighten up that grind a little bit and see if we can't pull even more out of this coffee. All right, so we tightened it up two notches going to weigh out that 19 point something grams are going to end up with 19 and a half and go up to 326 grams on this pour you ready let's go and once again we're going to stir this up right after we do the bloom just to try to mix up all the water and the coffee together so that the grinds are saturated and at 30 seconds we'll go ahead and pick this back up When it comes to pouring, I like to start in the middle, just to really slow circles, starting inward, working your way outward. See all those little dark spots? Those are spots that have not seen water yet. So now we've hit a lot of those. We'll work it back towards the center and then back out again. And that's usually about when I hit 200 grams and pause at about a minute, in this case, minute five. And then we'll let some of that coffee drip down, pick up the kettle again and get back to our second and final pour at 115. Pour all the way up to our final water weight of 326. And that should be done by about two minutes. Now this video is already a little long, a little repetitive, so we're just gonna fast forward to the end of the pour. Wow, would you look at that, we did it. And it's drained. Look at that nice flat bed, 282 grams of coffee. Now let's go measure that. 19.8% extraction. Now here's the thing, this coffee is good. It's great, but I think it can still go a little bit finer. So we're gonna tighten up the grind, two more notches, brew it once more. 19.8%. Now I use all these numbers and such as a reference for myself, um, according to what I'm tasting and whatnot. They may be different for you. They're definitely gonna be different for different coffees. So keep all that in mind. At the end of the day, just taste and adjust accordingly. Oh.